Senator Ted Cruz joins me now. So, <laughs> Senator, did you even see the movie, or did you just see this stupid map? Yeah, no, I, I have not seen the movie. I've just seen the, the, the stupid map. And, and, and I got to say, look, I mean, I mean, as you just showed, the map is, is drawn like in crayons. It's roughly a map of the world. But China, you know, Asia is just this big crayon box. But then right to the east of where China is are the nine dashes. And, and to anyone who's not really focused on geopolitics, those lines don't mean anything. But what those lines indicate is the Communist Party of China puts out official maps with those nine dashes, and they are asserting sovereignty over the entire South China Sea. They're saying all of that is China's. And by the way, all of their neighbors disagree. Vietnam disagrees. The Philippines disagrees. Actually, the country of Vietnam has banned the movie Barbie from their nation because these nine dashes wow. are replicated. So they can't see Margot Robbie. That is a huge yeah. mistake. Does, does Warner Brothers have to push this propaganda so that they allow the movie to be showcased in China, which is what, like uh, 1.8 billion potential yeah. customers? Yeah, look, that's exactly what's going on here. Obviously, the little girls that are going to see Barbie, none of them are going to have any idea what those dashes mean. This is really designed for the eyes of the Chinese censors, and they're trying to kiss up to the Chinese Communist Party because they want to make money selling the movie in China. And sadly, Jesse, this is a pattern we've seen of lots of Hollywood movie studios allowing China to censor American movies. And I got to tell you, I introduced legislation, it's called the Script Act, that says the federal government will not allow uh, movie makers to use U.S. government assets, things like jets or tanks or ships or helicopters, Good. if they allow the Chinese government to censor their films. And my legislation in substantial parts passed in December of last year. Just a few weeks ago, the Pentagon put out the official guidance saying, if you let China censor your movies, you're not getting U.S. assets. Sadly, the Barbie movie they, they, they didn't have any F-35s with Barbie <laughs> flying them, so it didn't have Got leverage it. over them. So you haven't seen Barbie. Uh, did you see the whistleblower testimony today? And it seemed like Merrick Garland's guilty of perjury and obstruction of justice. Uh, Jesse, you're exactly right. The whistleblower testimony today was damning. You have two different career IRS employees who go forward, and they testified before the House at great risk to themselves that Attorney General Merrick Garland has committed multiple felonies, in particular, number one, that he lied under oath to Congress. Actually, in response to questioning from me before the Senate Judiciary Committee, Merrick Garland testified that, that there was no political interference in the investigation of Hunter Biden. That's directly contrary to what the whistleblowers testified. And, and let me read you a couple of excerpts that are really striking. Here's one thing they testified to. Any time we potentially wanted to go down the road of asking questions related to the president, to Joe Biden, it was, that's going to take too much approvals. We can't ask those questions. Here's something else they testified to. Quote, investigators were not allowed to follow up on the WhatsApp messages from Hunter Biden when he suggested that he was sitting next to his father. And here's a third one that's even more damning. Quote, the Justice Department allowed the president's political appointees to weigh in on whether to charge the president's son. I watched the United States att uh, Attorney Weiss tell a room full of senior FBI and IRS senior leads that he was not the deciding person on whether charges were filed. That was my red line. That is stunning testimony. And if that testimony is truthful, it means Merrick Garland, Joe, Joe Biden's attorney general, committed multiple felonies. He should be impeached, and the Department of Justice should appoint a special counsel to investigate prosecuting him for lying under oath and obstruction of justice. We couldn't agree more. Senator Ted Cruz, thank you very much. Thank you, Jesse. And congrats, by the way, on the 8 o'clock hour. A big deal. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Senator. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.